I think it's recording. I haven't used it in so long. Uh, this is the Samsung. It's a Gear 360. Um, I'm sure there's a lot better ones out there now. I had gotten this one either by accident or a deal. I have no idea. I was looking up one when they first started coming out. I seen one being used on the tube. And I said, oh, let me check it out. So I go on, and I'm on uh, Amazon at the time, and I'm searching. And I'm seeing them 230, you know, 239, 240, 260, you know, 199. And all of a sudden, 80, I think it was $81. I look at it, that's got to be wrong. So I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm looking at the specs. New in box. Yeah, so holy shit. Alright. Did somebody steal it? I have no idea. But anyway, uh, I checked the buyer, a legitimate buyer, a seller rather, uh, and I paid for it using the uh, Amazon account. It went up through it $81. So at that point, you know, I'm thinking, see what happens. Three days later, it comes in. Yeah, so holy shit. I never went back to check it. I couldn't tell you. Wait a minute, I did go back. No, I didn't. I don't remember now. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I never. I'm gonna say I never went back to check it, so I don't know. But uh, it used to work really good. Now, the settings on this is in a little circle. You got a little circle on the front of the camera about the size of a dime. And within that dime, you have multiple settings with double function buttons like everything else. Well, sometimes, <laughs> and if you don't go there knowing where you're going and trying to look at it to see where I'm going, it stops. All right, and you got to start over again because it shuts off. Anyway, guys, back to you. Camera's a little crooked. Looks like the screw may be crooked. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, all right. Now, uh, I got the generator in the shed. I just got to uh, put a few screws in it. The shed, that is, not the generator. So, uh, I gotta get that done. Oh, and I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta cut a hole big enough for my hand to fit in. Maybe two hands. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> or maybe I'll just make one big hole and not have to worry about it. The saw is always right there. So, knock my socks off. Um, I definitely gotta get that thing built, meaning the little generator shed, uh, for next year. It's not going to happen this year. Too many things. It seems like winter creeps up on us real fast, or there's always something that gets in the way. Um, so, uh, the truck, the van, actually that was good though. Um, Darlene's van didn't pass emissions. So, uh, we're, Darlene called there, the place that did the emissions, who also did repairs. And uh, she said that they were really cocky, you know. So she said, you know, she just hung up. She didn't want to deal with them. You know, like they're too busy for anything. Well, if you're busy, that's what you want, you know. And you'll maintain the busyness if you are pleasant. You know, they just lost you know, a sale, you know, uh, it could have been 200, it could have been 2,000, who knows. So anyway, she says, uh, Torello, Tyre in East Haven. And I remembered Tom's daughter's mate, uh, her grandmother or aunt owns 
Torellos. So, uh, I said, oh. so anyway, I called Tom and I said, Tom, I said, I got to take the van to Torellos. I'm going to have it fixed. He goes, oh, he says, let me call. So anyway, he calls. I go in, we're talking, we're talking to Joanne, the owner. We're talking to Ashley, the one behind the counter. We're bullshitting back and forth. I had to feel her out, Joanne. So uh, we're bullshitting back and forth, and I forgot what I had said. But it was meant to be funny. But it could have been taken either way. And she laughed her ass off, you know, laughing back in the chair, you know. Ashley's laughing, you know, so I figured, okay, that seems to be a pretty good crew. And then after uh, bullshitting back and forth a little bit, she says, now I know why you're friends with Tom. <laughs> you, know, you know, basically he's just as wacky as I am. So um, at that point, she took the van in. She says, when do you need a bike? I'd like to have it by Thursday or Friday, I said, but, you know, now this was uh, Monday. So she says, oh, all right. So I brought it in there. She calls up about 4 o'clock on Monday. She goes, uh, and she's talking to Darlene, and she says, um, well, th three things are showing up that it could be. So we're going to start with the less expensive one, and we'll work it up from there. I mean, says, fine. We didn't ask how much or anything like that. Next day, oh, then she calls back uh, that later that night and says that the part didn't come in, but they expect it in tomorrow. They're going to try to get to it tomorrow, but no later than Wednesday. But if we need it, it's still drivable. It just has a bad code. Um, so we can pick it up and bring it back. So Darlene said, let's keep it. You know, there's no sense going nuts. So anyway, Wednesday, I get a call, and uh, it's Joanne. She says, um, oh, you're all set. Oh, great. She says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we didn't charge you for the re-emissions. Oh, well, thank you. She says, and um, it only came to $218. I think it was 218. It was 239 minus the 20. So, all right, 219. Uh, so at that point, uh, she says, whatever. What do you want? Cash, check, you know, credit card? How do you want it? She says, I don't care. Well, I didn't hear her say, well, if you give me cash, I'll knock the tax off. So I said, okay, well, I'll bring both just in case. So, uh, Two hundred nineteen dollars. Everything's fine. Uh, she said there's a couple of brake lines that are kind of rusted out, and uh, I trust her. You know, you know what I mean. She has the trusting attitude, the trusting demeanor. Uh, she could have raped us on the repair. She didn't. Uh, you know, she could have told us there was two things wrong with it. We would have never known. Um, but at that point, everything went fair. Everything was good. So I told her, I says, well, you know what's bad under there, so why don't we just plan on, uh, you put guys, you guys put a price together on replacing all the brake lines. Because if there's one here or there that's rotted, well then the other ones are not far behind. So let's replace everything. Going right to the back wheel, right to the front wheels. All right, you know, and uh, she says, all right. She says, when do you need a bike? Let's take your time. I says, uh, at that point, and, uh, you know, we'll s just let us know. You know says, all right. And that's the way it was. But anyway, we got out of there with $219. Worked out really well. Really well. Good place. Uh, they've got my business from now on. Well, actually, I was picking on Ashley, because I had talked to Ashley the first time I went down there to make the appointment. And I found that she was really easy to get along with, you know, so uh, I said, oh, no, you're here again? Said, what, do you live here? You know, said, don't tell me, you know. I says, uh, I, I hope at least you take a shower every now and then, you know. And the woman in the corner over there, which I never met, Joanne, 
uh, starts laughing her ass off. And uh, I says, and who are you? And Ashley says, that's the boss. But the boss, oh, that's the way she is with her hoe. She laughs at them because they need a shower. And she starts laughing again. She says, hi, I'm Joanne. I go, ah, oh, hi, I'm Buzz. Buzz, yeah, Tom's friend. Yeah, oh, yeah. So anyway, it was, it was a, it, it's a good relationship. Um, they seem like nice people and fair. I, I feel if my van is there, I feel like I'm going to get the right thing done at the right price. So, they're good. If I need tires, that's where I'm going. Right? Because